Alrighty, so today we're going to look at the different types of degrees and levels of education you need for a job you might be interested in. We're going to explore a lot of different aspects of jobs and degrees throughout the next day or so. So let's look at some jobs, right? These are the top five growing jobs in Texas and also the top five jobs that have a pretty decent median salary above 37000 That's the median wage of um, people that work in Texas. So these are predicted to grow and registered nurses is the top of that list. We have truck drivers, operation managers, teachers, accountants as well, but there's definitely other careers out there. For the Houston area, we noticed that we also have registered nurses as our number one growing job. And these are other jobs on here as well as the top five. Some of them are the same with the state of Texas. Uh, here's some openings, uh, a number of openings projected and annual salary. 79,000 seems really good, right? So let's kind of dig in and look at the different types of education requirements that we have. Today we're going to look at all these different requirements and tomorrow or to next day's lesson, you're going to see all the different types of jobs you can get, how much salary you get with it and different requirements for those jobs. So let's talk about how to get skills for a job. One way to get skills for a job is through on the job training. Now this is training that is typically done while you're being employed. Now, this is usually helping you be better at your occupation rather than just your job. Now, skills can be transferred to other jobs, but they're kind of really based in your occupation. Now, what's the difference between the two? Your occupation is like the broad umbrella of what we're talking about, and a job is what's more specific. So, for example, my occupation is being a teacher, but my job is to be a sixth grade math teacher. Notice it's a lot more specific. Another example is over here. If you're a reporter for online magazine, a reporter could be your job, but journalism or being a journalist would be your occupation. So it kind of gives you a more general aspect. So that's on the job training. Education levels could be very a variety of different ways and different levels of education. And education through colleges, universities, and different organizations is where the majority of workers get their knowledge and training from. Over here we notice these are kind of like the most commonly used reference points for education standards. Notice the spectrum goes from lowest level of education to highest level of education. And usually as you move through here, you get more experience, more salary, and more career opportunities. So let's explore each of these. The first one's less than high school. So getting less than high school experience means you didn't complete high school, um, you only have some high school experience. Some jobs will give you a job based on that, but most of them require more than this. So thinking about that, we're going to look at the other different types. So less than high school means you did not complete your high school education. The next is getting your high school diploma. So once you graduate Travis or Austin or whatever high school you go to, you will get your high school diploma saying that you completed your high school level education. You can also get this diploma by completing a GED credential. That's a general education development. Uh, credential. Now you can get that through a GED program or other means of learning. So that's outside of high school. Now let's say you do go after high school, you go to college, but you don't finish college. You get some experience and that's fine. Some jobs only require some college experience, but no degree at the end of it. Some jobs like to see that you have some college experience because you have the ability to manage your own learning and a bunch of things like that. So that's some college but no degree awarded. The other one is post-secondary non-degree award. Now this is usually a certificate or other type of award, but it's not classified as a degree. So for example, a job like that is a nursing aide, a paramedic, or even a hairstylist. They have to go through uh, programs that might last a few weeks or a, two years and get a certification or a non-degree award in that category for them to complete and do their job. Now the lowest type of degree or the base degree that you can get from a college or university is an associate's degree that's awarded for usually at least two years of full-time academic study beyond high school. Community colleges and junior colleges like HCC and WCJC will give you an associate's degree. Now some jobs such as a pharmacy tech or other careers require an associate's degree at the minimum. Now a bachelor's degree is kind of the basis for all jobs that you get. 
Now, this degree is usually awarded for at least four years of full-time academic study beyond high school. So that means going to places like University of Houston, go Cougs, SFA, Austin College, UT, a and they all usually can give you a bachelor's degree. Teachers, for example, require a bachelor's degree, and other jobs require at least a four-year four years of studying beyond high school, including nurses. Master's degree is your next level. That's one or two years after your bachelor's degree. That could be a master's in business administration or even a school principal. So it's only a year or two after finishing your bachelor's degree. The highest level that you can get is your doctoral or your professional degree. That's usually awarded for at least three years of doing full-time academic work after your bachelor's, but it's typically after your master's. That includes being a lawyer or even a doctor. So a doctoral professional degree is the highest level. All of these degrees work and depend on what type of job you want. After we master all these types of, or master knowing what all these degrees are today, tomorrow we're going to explore different jobs and how different salaries are related to them.